Welcome to Untold Physio Stories, a podcast that informs and educates by connecting you to rehab industry leaders who share their candid successes and failures in business and practice. This episode of Untold Physio Stories is sponsored by Edge Mobility System. Edge Mobility System is your online site for everything a PT, OT, DC, MT, ATC, or fitness pro would need. Get certified in blood flow restriction therapy or training online. Check out our full modern manual therapy seminars, ISTM toolkit, edge suspension trainer, portable tables, and more. Untold Physio Stories listeners can save 10% by going to edgemobsys.com. That's E-D-G-E-M-O-B-S-Y-S dot com slash untold to save 10% off their first purchase. Edge Health and Tech Solutions. We do websites that work for you and give you an edge over the competition. Did you know that you have less than 10 seconds to capture someone's interest in your website before they click away? How about the fact that most people are accessing your website from their phone? Save thousands and get a fully mobile, appealing, and SEO-optimized website linked to your social media, email list, and Google My Business. All for one low price and no monthly fees. Why not keep doing what you do best in your business and allow us to handle the tech side? Let's get started. Find us at edgehealthandtech.com. Welcome back to Untold Physio Stories podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Dr. E, with Modern Manual Therapy, Edge Mobility System, and our four-month online mentoring program, Modern Rehab Mastery. I'm also back to teaching live courses now. You can check those out at modmt.com slash calendar. Um, more live courses are being announced every week. So hope to see you at a live course this year. My uh, co-host, Andrew Rothschild, is not with me today, but uh, with me, I have a a longtime blog follower back when actually there were blogs and people read them. Um, <laughs> she was probably one of the original ones. And I had the pleasure of meeting her when I taught in Texas. So Cynthia Card is on today um, and she heard my quick story of anyone else potentially being embarrassed um, by the do- by my dog joke and it kind of backfired on me. And she has some of her favorite PT pet stories. How's it going today, Cynthia? Very well, thank you. Thank you for having me on, Urson. It's it's mm-hmm. good to good to be back. Good to see you, and um, look forward to um, telling you some funny stories. I think. All right. So shoot, yeah. Let us let uh, go ahead and tell your stories. Well, I'm uh, I've been practicing. I'm a dinosaur. This year is my fortieth year of practice. So wow. I've been around a long time. I've That's seen a wonderful. Lot of change. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's really fun and it's really exciting. Like people like you that just keep me motivated and want me to, to keep in practice. So it's, it's wonderful. Well, uh, I will say pets have been good for my business. So I've received, <laughs> <laughs> I've, right. I've gotten a lot of patients from pets, uh, a whole bunch of wrist fractures or uh, big puppies that run fast and you know trip people when they're go- coming around the corner. I had one woman a while ago, she had MS, but she was doing very well with a walker and she had a Doberman that she adored. Well, she was out walking or she was in her front yard and she tripped and got a little tangled up with the dog leash and the walker. Well, the postman just happened to see her. The postman ran over to help her. Well, the Doberman got across her and was like, "Uh, no, you're not. Anyway, it took them like, 20 minutes to get the dog to calm down that the postman was there to help. He wasn't there to hurt her. However, my all time favorite story was a a long time ago. This woman was, yeah, she was probably in her mid sixties and she was very fit and, um, but she was having some neck problems. So especially on the right side of her neck and she had a lot of pain reproduction with side bending to the right and rotation to the right. And she was very motivated and I saw her a couple times, but she still wasn't getting sustained benefits like I thought she should. So I told her, let's just go through your whole day 
and maybe there's something that you're doing that's, that's aggravating or just some changes we need to make. And she said, okay, well, I get up in the morning, I make my coffee, I get the newspaper, I lie down on the couch on my left side and drink my coffee. I prop my head up with my, my left hand, so I'm pushing my neck into right side bending. And I said, oh, well, that, that's it. Can't you see how you're loading that side a lot? And um, that's aggravating. I said, why don't you just sit up to read the paper and you know, drink your coffee? And she said, oh, no, I can't do that. I can't. And I said, well, why? And she said, well, my cat curls up in the crook behind my knee. We've done that for years. She'll be very mad at me if I don't do that. I have to do that. And I said, well, then why don't you get a pillow and just read the newspaper lying down sideways? She's like, well, yeah, but then how would I drink my coffee? <laughs> so, okay, it was, a, it was a little bit of work, but I think we finally did work out where she could lie down for a little bit, comfort the cat, and then sit up and read the paper, and her neck got much better. Oh, that's funny, the best of both worlds. I'm trying to yeah. picture this, though. How is she propping up her, is her head so side bent that she's upright enough to drink her coffee? Yes. <laughs> She yeah, sure I still can't even really picture that. That doesn't seem <laughs> oh, it, comfortable at all. It seems like it would, no. like my neck is kind of hurting thinking about that. But yeah, we well, love our pets. Yeah. We love our pets, don't we? I mean, I don't understand that story because I'm a dog person and I just think I wouldn't do that for a cat. I wouldn't even do that for my dog. <laughs> but uh... <laughs> yeah, but some people, yeah, how many, I'm sure you've seen a lot of people, they, they're uncomfortable at night, but the dog is by them or the cat oh, right, and they yes. don't want to move. And I always tell people, I and I love animals, and I'm like, you know, the dog or your cat will be okay. They will forgive yeah, you. Yeah, yes. They're 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 pretty unconditional. They they that is a that is an unconditional love for sure. Yeah, I know people who sleep with like two German shepherds on their single size bed. You know, like it it's uh, and they wonder why they have issues, or they they would just <laughs> rather have issues apparently, and and hope that there's another solution. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for coming uh, on. I'm sure a lot of uh, PTs are also animal lovers, so they appreciate these stories. Yeah. Yeah. Hope so. Anyway, thank you so much. I enjoy all the podcasts. So you have a great week. All right. Thanks, Cynthia. Well, you can find me, uh, Dr. E, at Modern Rehab Mastery. That's our new online mentoring program. It includes modern manual therapy, modern patient education, and modern strength training. It's three months with three mentors, so one month with each mentor, four weeks, tons of modules, lots of CEUs, learn at your own pace for a month, then move on. Um, so go beyond the seminar. You also get chat room um, with your mentees and mentors and live Q&As every week. Check out all my products, Edge Mobility System. We have the new Edge ISTM toolbox that includes the Edge Mobility Star and the OG Edge Mobility Tool, our Edge Restriction System BFR cuffs. That's part of Dr. Kyle Coffey's Modern Strike Training BFR certificate. Uh, I hope to see you at a live eclectic approach course soon. That's Modern Manual Therapy um, in US, Canada, and South America. And uh, make sure to rate Untold Physio Stories five stars on Apple Podcasts. You could also subscribe on Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and Spotify. And as always, you guys have an awesome day.